starting off with my BH Cosmetics Eyes in the 60s palette. I'm taking this lavender shade and a fluffy brush and applying that to my upper crease area. Next with my Suva Beauty Cupcakes and Monsters palette, I'm mixing the shade Funny Faces and Bloody Mary. Using a Zoeva 227 brush, buffing that into my crease and then blending that out with the fluffy brush. Next, taking Makeup Forever M846 and a MAC 239 brush, I'm applying that directly to my crease and then blending it out with a Zoeva 227 brush. Going back in and darkening it up and then blending it out again. Blend, 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 blend. <laughs> and then we're blending that in again with our fluffy brush. Next, taking Kat Von D Raw Power Metal Crush Shadow and an e.l.f. concealer brush, which I have sprayed with Fix Plus, and packing that onto my lid all over. and then blending out that line with my MAC 239. And then back in with my Zoeva 227. Next, we're going to tight line my upper waterline with a black pencil, and then line my upper lash line. And then I'm just smudging out that line with a smudger brush, and then going back over it with the Raw Power Shadow. Now applying concealer and blending that out. Now lining my lower waterline and the lash line, smudging that out, Next, with Suva Beauty Painted Elephant Hydra Base, I'm applying that to my lower lash line under the black and then buffing that out with a brush. Next, placing that maroon shadow over top and then blending that out as I go. Now, taking Suva Beauty's Chrome Hydra Liner in Luster Lilac, applying that to my inner corner. Now, using Wildly Natural Cosmetics Minx Pigment and a Sigma E36 brush, I'm buffing that into my inner corner area. Now, with Kat Von D Thunderstruck Metal Crush Shadow, I'm highlighting my brow bone with a flat shader brush and then curling my lashes. Now applying mascara to my top and bottom lashes. I will be using Vegas Knee Grand Glamour Lashes by Eyelore and popping them on. Here is the finished eye look. So this is my lovely bare face. For my foundation today, I'm going to use Becca Matte Skin Shine Proof Foundation in this color sand with the, mixed with Cover FX Drops in N20. So just mixing up that concoction on the back of my hand and then dotting it all over my face. And now blending it in with this e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush. Blending that all over the face. And making sure to do my neck. Now applying NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the color Chantilly and blending that out with my Beauty Blender. Now taking this e.l.f. concealer, and believe it or not this is in the color Light, I'm going to do a cream contour. So applying that to the hollows of my cheeks, top of my forehead, and down my nose. And I'm blending that out with my Beauty Blender.
Now I'm going to set my under eyes with NYX HD Translucent Finishing Powder and an e.l.f. blush brush. Now setting the rest of my face with Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. Now I just picked up this contour kit and I'm going to use this middle shade, maybe the other shade. Using a Zoeva Angled Brush, uh, applying that to my cheekbones, top of my forehead. Now I'm going to use NYX Taupe Blush and contour my nose using a Sigma E25 brush. First I lay it down on my nose and then I blend it out with a Real Techniques contour brush. Now putting blush on my cheeks with a Zoeva Ingold brush. And now highlighting with Kat Von D Thunderstruck and this is an e.l.f. blush brush. Highlighting my cheekbones, Cupid's bow, and then using a small brush to highlight the center of my nose. Now lining my lips with a Jordana Cabernet Lip Pencil. And applying MAC Sin Lipstick all over my lips. Now I'm just applying a lip gloss. This is the same color because I wanted a glossy lip with this look. Now this is me saying to hold on while I go do my hair. Now I'm kind of back combing it so I get a little bit more volume and this is the finished look. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.